Good afternoon, this is Norman Morris, CEO of the Louisiana Realtors. I welcome you to the March edition of the CEO video update. I'd like to cover three items today with you. The first is the new LREC changes with their rules governing team advertising. A team now under the new LREC rules is defined as a collective name used by two or more licensees operating as one entity. The Real Estate Commission is now going to require teams not use names that could be construed by the consumer to be independent of their broker. Some of these terms that are not going to be allowed to be used with team names are real estate, brokerage, and realty. The teams now must have broker permission to form a team as well as to operate and represent consumers under their team names. A team leader will, have, will be responsible and charged with providing the Louisiana Real Estate Commission in conjunction with their broker all of the names of their team members representing clients and customers. It is now not necessary anymore under the current rules for all of the team members to be listed on all advertisements that the team is publishing out in the public domain. Stay tuned next week in Louisiana's e-news for a full recap of the new rule change as it relates to team advertising um, with Louisiana real estate licensee teams. The Louisiana legislative session begins in earnest on Monday, April the 13th. Your Louisiana Realtor staff will be heavily engaged in this legislative session as legislators look to balance the approximately $1.6 billion def budget deficit during this session. The Louisiana Realtors are going to make sure that all real estate related provisions are protected and ensure you, the Realtor member, can continue to freely represent your clients and customers in the real estate transaction. The Louisiana Realtors will be providing you, the member, with key updates on all session activities each week during the process of the legislative session. We are going to ask you during the session as a Realtor member to make contact with your legislators, either through telephone calls, emails, text, and, and, and so that we can make sure that all related bills um, are passed through the session that we support, and those bills that we don't support, we can help defeat those measures. We also are going to be proactively in passing several key measures during the legislative session that you will have a chance to be updated on um, in Baton Rouge during our Spring Into Action Conference, which is set for April the 13th, 14th, and 15th. All Realtor members need to sign up for this important legislative event. It will provide you, the Realtor member, to take advantage of two great continuing education courses. One course for residential brokers and agents, which covers the new RESPA-TILA closing changes that are set to take effect August the 1st. We also have a four-hour mandatory course uh, commercial leases geared strictly for those commercial real estate practitioners, which, you, which all of those members will not want to miss. We will have a reception for the YPN members and commercial practitioners for a place for them to network and catch up and exchange great business ideas. For all of the Louisiana Realtors Political Action Committee major investors, wow, what an event set up for them. A chance to meet the four major candidates for running for governor of Louisiana this fall and hear from them on why they want to lead the state for the next four years. We will have governance meetings and the election of Louisiana Realtors 2016 Secretary Treasurer and all of the regional vice presidents as well at this meeting. So we encourage everyone to sign up today for the Spring Into Action Conference, where you, the Realtor member, can make a difference in the political process. Go to our website, larealtors.org, to sign up today. Uh, and also visit our Facebook page. As you'll notice, on there is a plethora of information on new updates, not only on key issues, but also on all of these events and more at Louisiana Realtors. Again, it's been great to be with you today on the March CEO Update. And if you have any questions or comments, please call into our office or shoot us an email uh, at any time. Thank you so much.